when Jennifer Lawrence complained about men being mean and not getting dates. Jennifer Lawrence established her career with the 2010 thriller Winter's Bone, which led to her being nominated for a Golden Globe and an Academy Award. By 2015, the Hunger Games actress bought a luxurious mansion estimated to be about $8 million in the posh Los Angeles area of Beverly Hills. While talking with Vogue that year, despite her success, Lawrence revealed that she had been spending a lot of time alone since splitting up with musician Chris Martin, whom she had been seeing for roughly a year. No one ever asks me out, Lawrence complained. I am lonely every Saturday night. Guys are so mean to me. I know where it's coming from, I know they're trying to establish dominance, but it hurts my feelings. I'm just a girl who wants you to be nice to me. I am straight as an arrow. I feel like I need to meet a guy, with all due respect, who has been living in Baghdad for five years and who has no idea who I am, the Red Sparrow actress shared. Lawrence continued to confess intimate details about her dating life during the interview. She brought up a former partner during the conversation whom she called sexy and then said, but I didn't like how he made me feel. When someone makes you insecure, it's strangely exhilarating because you keep trying to fight for that validation. After pausing for a moment she added, It's what you want to have before you get married so that you don't seek it out once you are. Seeing her best friend settling down in life, the mother actress spoke about the desire to find a lifetime partner. I can't wait to be married, she said. I feel like if I find that one person who I want to spend the rest of my life with, who I want to be the father of my children, that I would not fuck it up. She continued. But I'm also not banking on that. Lawrence later made a sweeping motion toward the bed to make a jest about her singlehood while displaying her recently remodeled master suite and said, This is where the magic happens. Zero magic has happened in here. Then, in a toast, she raised her glass and joked further, cheers to my hymen growing back. While revealing her newfound love for being independent the American Hustle actress said, downtime is normally the bane of my existence, she continued. It makes me depressed, not relaxed. But I was enjoying myself this time, she says. What did you do? I ask. You're looking at it hang out. Drink wine. I've got a bunch of friends who live close, thank God. And I've made friends with Mila and Ashton, two doors down. They're awesome. I go over there uninvited. They're probably getting pretty sick of me. While concluding on her dating life she said, what I was trying to say is that we're not victims. I am holding myself back. The men aren't to be blamed for asking for more and getting it.